Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to send unsupported video files to your Chromecast or Apple TV using Airflow. Airflow is a free download, so you can go ahead and grab a copy using the link in our full guide and you can find a link to that in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And after you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up. It is available for both Mac and Windows, but in this case I'm using a MacBook, so I'm going to go ahead and install the Mac version of it. It is um, distributed via DMG, so all you have to do is open that up and then drag and drop that into your applications folder. Alright, so now that Airflow is already installed, you go ahead and open it up. This screen is going to look exactly the same on Windows and Mac, so you don't have to worry about any kind of compatibility issues. Um, on the top right corner, uh, you're going to want to select which Chromecast or Apple TV you're going to connect to, so you go ahead and select that. After, you can go ahead and start adding video files or music files to your playlist. In this case, I'm going to be adding an AVI and a FOV file, which normally would not be able to play on either a Apple TV or Chromecast. But because Airflow uses QuickSync to transcode on the fly, it'll be able to cast onto either device without having to first convert it. It'll just um, do all that conversion as it plays. So if I want to go ahead and play Horrible Bosses and just select it, hit play, and then it'll send directly to my Chromecast. And you can see on the right, we have some options for audio subtitles and video. Um, under audio, you will find options to enable surround sound or actually delay the um, audio if it is out of sync with the video. The only time surround sound will be actually enabled is if your file supports that, but this file does not, so it'll just stay in stereo. Now under subtitles, you can actually load up any um, subtitle file that you have for this video, but if you do not, you can hit search online and it'll use OpenSubtitles.org to find compatible subtitle files. So if you find one that you like, you go ahead and select it, download it, it'll download and then you'll be able to apply it to the video. Now after it applies, you go ahead and uh, change the uh, scale, the color, and the delay to better match up with the video as well. Last up is the video section, which could uh, change the aspect ratio of your video if you're monitor is in um, a regular 4x3 four by, uh, four by or 16x9 just depending on which uh, equipment you're using and you can also change the quality as well if you want to go to a lower quality if your network isn't as um, great as it needs to be to in order to push out a full 1080p video. Alright guys so that's going to do it for Airflow. Be sure to check out the full guide link in the description below and like always be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.